Hello Tab Nation, it's Tom and today we are going to be doing something a little bit different. Normally I teach coding, usually with auto hotkeys and how to automate with pretty much anything. But this can also be helpful. With auto hotkeys, we're always talking about hotkeys. Well, I'm going to be doing a video here about 15 Windows hotkeys that are built into Windows that you should know about. I'm using Windows 10 today, but these should still work at least in some of the other versions, 11, some of the past versions. Uh, they haven't really changed since Windows 95, honestly. So, I mean, for some reason you're using that computer still, you should still find use out of this video. All right, let's take a look. So I'm going to actually display these. We'll show them, most of these uh, being as an example. Some of these I can't really show you with OBS and recording. So the first one is Windows, or sorry, close a window, control W. Now, you might be thinking, well, why don't I just press the X right here? Well, because we want to be a little bit extra lazy. Maybe I don't want to have to move my mouse all the way up here, target this X, press a click. I can just have my hand on the keyboard and be like, boom, control W. So let's do that. Control W. It's as simple as that lock your pc i can't show you that one because then uh pretty sure obs would stop recording or you just wouldn't see what i'm doing and then i have to unlock so basically that just locks your computer if you don't know what that means it basically takes you back to the main like when you log in at first where your password is so yeah uh, this is kind of useless if you don't have a password on your computer. So if you don't have a password on your computer, just ignore this one because then anybody could just go back out and push login and it would just go in. So yeah, this is more of a work environment thing, I would think. Um, you know, you're getting up instead of going down to the start menu, click the option things, push lock. You can just push Windows, uh, the Windows key 11. I don't know why I push Windows here. All my other ones say win. So yeah. That locks your computer switch apps uh i use this one probably by far the most and i know a lot of these a lot of you guys are going to be like well yeah i i knew that that's obvious at my old job something like this switching between apps like this blew people's minds like they were like what that's so nice like i'm always going down to the little hot bar there if i have a bunch of apps open it takes me forever so, yeah, you'd be surprised how many people actually don't know some of these simple things as some of us would think. Uh, but, yeah, so switch apps. And basically, I was just on Notepad++, uh, but now I'm on Notepad. So it kind of will display them in order. So I'm going to push Alt-Tab. We get this little pop-up. And then when you have it, if you keep holding Alt, you can actually... So if I had just let go, it would have gone straight to Notepad like that. But if you hold Alt, you can actually keep pushing Tab to cycle through all your windows that you have open. So if I want to go to Visual Studio, I can now let go of Alt, and that's open now. All right. Show and hide your desktop. This is another one I use a lot as a quick way if I have a lot of windows open to get to my desktop. There is a button in your taskbar or whatever uh, down at the bottom. All the way to the right people also don't know that exists it's just like this little button there it's so small but if you click it in the very bottom right of your corner of your desktop like i'll click it now it shows my desktop and if i click it again it brings everything back but i find that so annoying to use because it's kind of hard to target and i have to move my mouse all the way down there so i like this option a lot better so basically does the same thing windows key d Boom, there's my desktop, Windows key D, brings everything back to the order that it was in. Windows key M minimizes all windows. This basically does the exact same thing as up here. It just minimizes all the windows. So we'll do Win M. But the difference is, it, I'm going to push Win M again. It won't bring it back because they're minimized versus hidden, I guess is basically the way to say it. So they do the same thing as far as getting you to your desktop, but if you want to snap back to reality, uh, use Windows D. So that's really the only difference between those two. <clears throat> Windows key left arrow or Windows key right arrow. 
this will snap your windows. So if you grab a window or a, yeah, a window of whatever program and you drag it all the way to the edge of your desktop, hold it there for a split second, you get this little highlight thing. Hopefully it shows up on OBS. I let go. It's going to snap it to half my screen automatically. Uh, but another way you can do it is I can just push the Windows key uh, left arrow and it will automatically do that. Now it's asking what do I want on the right side. I can just be like, boom. So that's just a fast way to display two windows at the same time. And let me make sure that's lined up again. There we go. Uh, open settings. This is great. You know, it just saves you a few clicks. Just Windows I. And it just takes you to do your settings. So I use this one from time to time too, versus, you know, having to go down, click the start menu, click the settings button. It just saves a step basically, which I just did a video recently uh, about MS calls and how to actually, once you have the settings open, how to go to a specific one, navigate it all with auto hotkeys. So definitely check that one out and uh, control click slash shift click. This selects multiple items. So we'll just use this as an example. Uh, actually, I, I can't really think how I would do this in here. Uh, but yeah, it lets you select multiple items. Uh, oh, Explore. That's where I can show you how to use it. Let's go to my Tab Nation thing here. So yeah, I can push Control click, click this picture down here. And as you can see, I'm clicking in random files and I can you know drag and drop all these or right click and say delete it's just a faster way to do stuff uh, you know shift click that's going to just highlight from point A to point B so depending on what you're doing it's just a faster way to highlight multiple videos or pictures whatever or kind of target specific ones so I use that one all the time too um, when I'm doing a lot of picture stuff uh, yep, uh, control A, select all items. This was another one I was surprised that people did not know. So we're just going to enter a bunch of gibberish here. Yada, 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 yada. This is tab nation language. Um, you know, I see people so many times where they have like a PDF or something or just a large piece of text. Uh, you know, GitHub or something. You're, you you want to copy someone's code. You're sitting, I've seen people sit there and like go like this and then just have their mouse just scroll, scroll, scroll until they get to the end. And they're like, okay, now I can push control C. Or you can just push control A. Boom. It just highlighted everything for you. No dragging while you hold the mouse click down. I was very surprised how many people did not know you could do that. To be honest, I was like, wow. Uh, paste this plain text. That's basically, uh, <clears throat> let's say you're on a website and you want to copy some data and it's in all the fonts in some language or uh, font style. It's blue, that kind of stuff. You can control C or copy it. And, but if you go to Word and paste it, it's going to have that blue font color. I don't want that. I, I want it to just be normal, plain text. You're going to do Control, and if you know, Control-V is paste. But instead, we're going to hold the Shift key down here. So we're going to do Control-Shift-V, and that's going to take it, and it's going to get rid of that blue color. We don't want that. We just want basic, everyday system text. Now, when I say play... Uh, Paste this plain text that's defined by your system. So if for some reason you went into your system settings and changed what plain text means to be blue, then it will paste it as blue. So whatever your system default for plain text is. So if you've messed around with that, it'll just be whatever you have it set to. Then we got Control Shift T. Control Shift T. And that basically is moving. It, it's basically opening. Oh boy. Should probably do this in Chrome instead. Well, maybe not. This one I had some weird stuff with. So it's basically just opening stuff. It's opening stuff that you had open, that you've closed. It goes in the order of what it was last. So basically, let's say you close a Chrome tab by accident. I know so many people who are like, oh, I need that website back. And they'll go to their history, look for it, open it. 
you just push Control shift t and it's going to open the previous uh thing open last close and this should work in most programs i as you saw it just worked in notepad plus plus it was opening all the tabs i have recently closed it works in chrome where it's opening those should work in all the other stuff but i haven't tested if there's a program this does not work in let me know in the comments below just so other people from the future generations watching this understand bookmark a web page pretty self-explanatory don't really need to show you that one um but basically well i guess i will why not uh so yeah let's say i want to bookmark this I can, you know, push the bookmark this tab, you know, type whatever, put it wherever, whatever. But you can also, wait, for some other reason that just bookmarked it. That was weird. Okay. Let's say I want to bookmark my YouTube page. <laughs> so we're going to do that control D right there, bookmark a web page. Control D. And all that really does is the exact same thing. Versus me clicking up here. Honestly, I would say that one doesn't save you a lot of time. But I use it from time to time. Just because I know I'm about to. Like, So while I'm moving my mouse up there, I'll push Control D. That way when I get up there, I can just push the Done button. Uh, yeah. Rename files. This one I could see being useful. So let's go back to Explorer. Tab Nation. So let's see. So look, this is like looks like gibberish. I want to change it. Sometimes it's like so annoying. I have trouble sometimes where I'm like sitting there like, ah, oh, there we go. Now I'm into that box. I'm like, ah, oh, come on. Come on. There we go. Well, I can just highlight the video or the picture and push F2. So it's just an easier way. So you're not sitting there fiddling around trying to get that to sh up here. Just highlight F2. So that just is more a, a convenient thing. So if you're doing a lot of renaming, this is going to be very useful for you. So this one I can't really show you, uh, but it's Windows uh, key P, and that's just going to send whatever is your active window. It's going to send it to your external monitor. So it would basically just snap it over to my second screen. Uh, I can't really show you that because I'm recording right here. Uh, so yeah, but yeah, this one's useful. I use this one too quite a bit uh, just because I'm like, I open YouTube and I want to do something else, but I want to watch YouTube on my second monitor. I can just push Windows key P and it's like, boom, full screen over there. I'm good to go. Uh, the last one we got today is Windows key E and that just launches your file explorer. So Windows key E. I keep like looking over my mic because it's blocking my keyboard. And that just launches your explorer. But yeah, uh, I hope you guys found some of these useful. If you guys want me to do more because there is a ton, maybe even like, in a specific thing like maybe you want me to show you like my top 10 favorite uh chrome hotkeys that are built into chrome fire explorer or firefox fire explorer uh, you know that kind of stuff let me know if i have the program i'll do a video on it with my top 10 what i personally think most useful built-in hotkeys and if you haven't done so please help me out by hitting that subscribe button hit that bell notifications i'm throwing two sometimes even three videos out to you guys every week trying to teach you automation or for just faster ways to do your job or live your personal life on your computer and gaming all right everybody i will see you guys on the next one peace